Hi. I'm gonna have a quick breakfast today. I'm gonna start off with a cookie. <laughs> I don't usually do this very often, but when I'm in a rush, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So I have this protein cookie. It's 16 grams of protein and it's 420 grams. I mean, 420 grams, 420 calories. I am going to add in some protein just to keep my protein intake pretty high. And my coffee, I added in some soy milk. That is like my favorite thing to have um, in my coffee. I use it as a creamer and some stevia to sweeten it up. I know stevia is an acquired taste, but I have acquired that taste. So it does not bother me and it is my sweetener of choice. I'm gonna heat this cookie up. All right, so. 10 seconds. Smells so good. All right, so I got a protein shake ready to drink. This is 22 grams of complete protein plus 16 grams of complete protein and about two grams of complete protein in this. It gives me a, four, a total of 40 grams of protein for this meal. So I'm off to a fairly good start, yeah. Ugh. Bottoms up. All right, so I'm gonna take my vitamins. I take a multivitamin. Vitamin D3. Algae oil for omega-3 fatty acids. And then I have some B12 right here in powder form. I've just been um, just taking it dry instead of mixing it with water. Just for time's sakes, I do a mix of both. Sometimes this can be hard to drink, especially plain. But uh, you get used to it over time. <clears throat> well, at least I get used to it. I still have protein powder at the bottom of this. I'm done drinking my protein shake. <clears throat> I feel rather full just from that, but I know I need to eat the rest of this so that I prepare myself for a good day. The thing about losing weight or going through body recomposition is that you want to create balance and re be realistic with your goals and one of the things is it's not having so much pressure on eating perfect all the time that can be really hard on your mental i know that was for me and eating something like this would be considered you know bad you know it's not the healthiest thing but it's also not the worst because there are other nutrients added into this like there's protein there's fiber there it's made out of oatmeal has dried fruit the raisins so there are other nutrients in, in it that my body could pull from for fuel so that is something that i've kind of like realized or kind of like have been more lenient about especially whenever you're going through like body recomposition you have specific goals of course you want to make sure you're getting in your protein because it's like the biggest thing the difference between a fat loss journey and a weight loss journey is that weight loss you're just focusing on losing weight you're not necessarily focused on retaining for most people right for most people, you're not focused on focusing on retaining or building muscle. It's just getting off the extra weight. When it's a fat loss journey, it is specifically trying to get rid of fat and hold on and or build lean body mass, which is muscle. 
as much as you can. So, and then staying within your calorie, your your calorie goal, not eating in a surplus. Maybe staying at maintenance or cutting just a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. In the past, I have made you know mistakes where I would slash my calories and to unhealthy to an unhealthy amount, and it became un you know I'm pleasurable, not fun, and kind of struck an, an ED and just unhealthy eating habits. So <clears throat> right now, my goal is not to eat pat. My goal is not to eat below 1750. I want to like be more consistent with my eating because my eating can fluctuate. Like it can be really good at times and it can just get really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna stop here and finish eating. I have some tofu here, three pounds of tofu here. And I am using the Organic Super Firm. This is um, one of my favorite textures because it's, it's the toughest. I don't have to press it out. It is organic and non-GMO. I know that some people are a little bit on the fence about tofu because um, there's a lot of misinformation centered around tofu and just soy products in general depending on the source of soy that you get or consume some sources are, are better than others and can be just as healthy and if not a superfood so this is something that is a staple in my diet i eat it every day if not sometimes twice a day and i'm totally fine totally healthy i'll do a separate video on that i don't want to like spend too much time on it but yeah i am going to cut this up and marinate it. So I'm going to be flavoring my tofu with some marinade and this is a citrus and herb. So I'm just going to do a pack and a half of this to go with the three pounds of tofu and mix it with some water. I'm going to stir this well, try to get all those lumps out. Then I'm going to let this sit for some time. Now it's time to sit this in the fridge. I'm gonna let it marinate. I usually let it marinate overnight, but since I'm gonna cook it later, I'll probably let it marinate for about four or five hours. I don't know, four to six hours, at least four hours for today. So 12, one, two, three, yeah. I would say about five to six hours today. Probably flip it midway so that all of the tofu is nicely coated. grab some stuff for lunch. I'm gonna do a sandwich so I think I'm gonna pick up just some toppings because I already have bread, I already have my protein and cheese at the house so I'm gonna pick up some lettuce, tomato, and avocado and I think I'm gonna do a Greek yogurt if I can find it, or a cream cheese. All right, just gonna grab an avocado. This seems perfect. Nice, firm, not too soft, not too hard. I like the tomatoes on the vine best. I think I'm just gonna get maybe one or two. I might do a salad tomorrow, I don't know. I got some spinach. And I'm gonna see if they have like a vegan yogurt. I'm in the vegan section right now. Or the plant based section, I guess. I don't see it. So I usually don't get, I'm not really a big mayonnaise person. 
It's vegan mayo. I've always wanted to try this, but I don't know if it's worth it because I'm not, I'm not a big mayo person to begin with. It's 80 calories per tablespoon. That's kind of, it's kind of stiff. I, mean, I don't know. Let me try to find a yogurt. Let's go to the dairy department to see if they have it. Kind of debating on if I wanted to get cucumbers, but I'm not because I have pickles. Literally the same thing, and I like pickles just a little bit better, even though fresh is best. I want something kind of salty on my sandwich, some flavor. We're, all right, so we're in the dairy section. Let's see, dairy free. What are we gonna get? I know they have dairy free yogurt. I know they do. Uh, all one. All one. Oh, there's a refrigerated aisle. Okay, thank you. All right, so I was in the wrong spot. I usually get this, it's 10 grams. Is there sugar in this? Cause I don't want it to be, yes, yeah, vanilla. I'm not gonna do that. It needs to be plain. Okay, so I'm gonna get this plain yogurt, soy based, which I don't bother. It's a higher amount of protein. And this one is, it's non-GMO and it's vegan, of course. So we're done. I'll see you guys at the house for lunch. So I forgot that I want to add onions on my sandwich. So I'd already started checking out. Um, I'm gonna get a red onion and then I'm gonna be out of here. I try to add some variety and color to my lunch meal since I didn't have um, a lot since I didn't have any veggies for breakfast. I want to make sure I get as many veggies in for for lunch All right red onion. I think this looks okay compared to the other ones oh. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get out of here All right, so I'm going to make a sandwich as I stated before I'm gonna be using some Ezekiel bread to make my sandwich. It is flourless and it has a complete amino profile, 80 calories per slice and five grams of protein per slice. And so I do like this. It is a staple in my diet and that's what we're gonna use. take a little bit that's 15 grams of yogurt quarter slice of avocado I'm gonna add in some rosemary sea salt I really love this now I'm gonna mix this is gonna be our spread all right I'm gonna try this it actually doesn't taste bad I thought I wasn't gonna like it, but I like it. I'm telling you, the rosemary sea salt is the busy on. They have a parsley and sea salt. It's really not my favorite. I don't know what I do with it. I think I still have it, but this is the busy on. So we're just going to butter our bread, but we're not buttering the bread. So the sandwich is finished. I'm going to cut it. I think this is like the hard part for me. <sighs> uh, there we go. Okay. So there. Stay. I think I have too much in here. Oh my gosh, yeah. So, it's it's cut. You know, I'm not really the best at this, but there we go. Oh. Okay, 
so I'm gonna be heading to the gym in about an hour, hour and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and make my protein shake. I'm not gonna mix it with water. I'm just gonna put the protein powder in the bottle or in the shaker just so that I have it. So I'm going to go ahead and have this ready and prepared because I'm gonna go run a couple of errands, then train. And after I train, I'm going to have this right after. I'm going to put in, I think this will be about, this is gonna be 40 grams or close to it. I believe I'll add it on the screen. I believe it's 40 grams. I'm going to hit my goal. I've already kind of counted. I don't know. It's not 28 grams, <laughs> but by the end of the day, I'll have close to 142 grams of protein. And I do want to say like, it is hard getting in 140 grams. That's, that's hard for me. Like I got to be on it, but 130 grams is easy to get in. A lot easier um, than 140. So I gotta put in some effort for that. <sighs> Back from the gym and I'm getting ready to bake my tofu. Okay, so for dinner, I'm gonna have some stir fried vegetables that I made the other night. And I um, just lightly seasoned them and I'm gonna pair that with the baked tofu that I cooked. I'm gonna heat that up and then I love to top off my meals with ketchup sometimes. <laughs> just adds a nice little flavor. It's very low carb. Also gonna have a Zevia which is zero calorie soda it's sweetened with stevia and erythritol. It helps to knock out any sugar cravings I may have after a meal. I'll sip on it lightly throughout a meal or I'll just completely wait until after I finished eating. And I only drink this whenever I feel like I need it if I feel a sugar craving coming. It's not like a, a staple in my diet. I drink it on a as needs basis. All right, that's it. And I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.